What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Happy holidays. My name is Max. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about LG latest announcement. LG just dropped the bomb literally when it comes to the micro RGB mini LED TV ads. And also LG is talking about the latest G6 and then bring back the W6. Now there's been some leaks and rumors in LG side. But we're going to go ahead and talk about the OLED side first before we go into micro RGB. Now, first things first, these are leaks, but there are some pictures of the latest G6 and even a wallpaper. Now, with the G6 series, it's supposed to be brighter, getting up to close to 3,500 nits of peak brightness at a 10% window. And that's supposed to be way brighter than what we had from last year's version. And also, LG is bringing back the wallpaper, which is coming in the 77 inch and the 83 inch. Now, nothing is confirmed as of yet, as of me doing this video, but this week is going to be CES announcements. I'm expecting that LG will be doing it. We're we'll making an announcement very, very soon with the official announcement. And this is something that LG is not playing games for 2026. Not only are they going up on the OLED line when it comes to going against mini LED TVs, but they also bring in their micro RGB LED TVs as well too. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that in a little bit more detail. But first, if you could do me a favor by hitting that like and subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. Further ado, let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, some of these leaks well, most of these leads came from the AVS forums, but I also got some of this information from Flat Panel HD. And then also I want to give a shout out to High Def News for posting this on the Twitter or X account as well. But looking at this information, ahead of CES 2026, unveiling details of LG's new OLED TVs has leaked in China and other forums as reportedly in several media outlets. Additionally, details have appeared in NVIDIA G-Sync certification database. So the leaks revealed that LG 2026 B6, B6E, C6, CS6, G6, and the W6 OLED models of sizes of ranges of 42 inch all the way up to 97 inch. And they will be replacing the B5, C5, G5, and the M5 models. Now, there are some pictures right now I'm about to go ahead and show right here. But one thing that they have mentioned is, is that the Hyper Radiant OLEDs, uh, they will have to wait until CES to talk about this in a little bit more detail. But details about the Hyper Radiant OLED technology is, is that the leaked photo shows specification mentioned up to three 0.9 brighter percent brighter panels and brightness booster ultra as also certified reflection free as seen in some of the photos from the AVS forums. The G6 design is looks largely unchanged and is apparently available in sizes from 48 to all the way to 97 inch. The good news is, is that, well, once they make the official announcement, hopefully that the technology will be up to the 48 to all the way up to the 97 inch. However, according to NVIDIA G-Sync certification database, a 97-inch G6 will be limited to the 120 hertz Damn. as opposed to 165 hertz on the smaller models, indicating that the 97 does not use the latest panels. <laughs> Earlier this month, the panel maker at LG, which supplies the OLED panel at LG Electronics, announced in 2026 panels will feature a primary RGB Tandem 2.0 technology for increased brightness. So as I mentioned before, that the 97 inch might not get the same brightness as the smaller versions, but we have to wait and see until we get the official analysis from LG. What's also good to know is that they also have leaked the W6 OLED model that is available in 77 to 83 inch most of the same panel video and audio technology as the G6. According to Flat Panel, LG has been considering reviving a unique wallpaper OLED, first announced in 2017, discontinued 2020. And the W6 seems to be back, which is going to go ahead and compete with the Samsung frame, which is very interesting to see on its own. 
but it's just the question is, is that when they discontinued the wallpaper back in 2020, it was just one of the things that was going against the at the time was pricing. So who knows what the pricing is going to be for 2026 and see how competitive it is when it comes, goes against the Samsung frame. But knowing that it's the OLED technology, we already know the picture quality as it is, is going to be vastly better than the Samsung frame. I expect that hopefully we'll have the official announcement later at CES this year, which is only a week from now. Or a few days, depending on when you watch this video. Now, the question is just need to ask ourselves is, is that I don't know if the 97 inch is going to have the the latest panel uh, panel compared to the 83 inch version and the smaller all the way up down to the 48 inch. We just have to wait and see. But looking at this leaked picture, it looks it does indicate that it might get the latest panel. It's just the thing is when it comes to the G sync and the refresh rate, we may get just only 120 hertz. So I don't know. We have to wait and see until LG make their official announcement, but it is interesting to see how right here in this panel, it talks about it in more detail about hyper radiant OLED technology, brightness boost, ultra perfect blacks and perfect color and perfect coloring. Also it is talking, it hasn't indicated anything about the Dolby vision. If they're going to be using the latest version or not more than likely they will, but it's probably going to be in the firmware update. And also looking at the wall series, it has the same thing as well as the G6. And it looked like at the AI processor 4K A11, just like how the G6 will have the same processor as well too. The only difference is, is that in the wallpaper, you only get a 77 and 83 inch version. And then also you looking at a much thinner OLED panel. And then also you will be having a wireless HDMI connector, which I'm trying to figure out how that will work out on its own, but LG will probably talk about that in a little bit more detail. But going back into the micro RGB mini LED TV video that just came out, depending on when you're watching this video, it came out yesterday when I watched it, is, is that it looks like LG is doing all different faucets when it comes to the TV lineup. Not only are they doing OLED TVs, but they also do a micro RGB LED TVs as well too. So we're gonna see how that's gonna look when it comes to CES and when the TVs are started trinking it out for 2026. But it is nice to see that not only LG is doing just OLED, but they're also doing the RGB mini LED TV route as well too. It just depends on the sizing of what the person or consumer is thinking about buying. If you think about getting a bigger size screen TV, maybe the micro RGB mini LED TV might be a better route. Or depending on what the announcement is for the OLED TV, the 97 inch might be a better option depending if they're using the latest panel or not. And then the question is, is it about the pricing as well too. If it's at a competitive price compared to RGB mini LED TV or micro RGB mini LED TVs or mini LED TVs, then more than likely I would say right then and there, then you should go ahead and get the 97 inch depending on how competitive the prices are and what type of panel technology that's going to be using for 2026. But looking at these leaked pictures and looking at these de designs right now, I'm looking forward to seeing more information at CES, but let me know in the comments, are you thinking about picking up another, are you thinking about picking up an LG TV? Are you holding off for 2026 TVs or did you even buy a TV in 2025? Let me know in the comments, but just want to let you know, happy new year's to everyone. Whoever's watching this video, probably when this video will come out, it'll probably come out on new year's day or the day after new year's day. Cause I'm going to try to film this in HDR, but happy holiday holidays to everyone. Hope everyone have a amazing holiday and yeah, just let me know in the comments how y'all feel about it until next time. I'll see everyone in the next video. Take care. Bye.